Oh, I just fell right in, huh? So we're back here. The, the not so hard uh, labyrinth zone copy. I think at that the pass. That's exactly what we need. We want to go into the pass. Just gotta find the perfect place to go into it. Yeah, this is annoying me already, so I'm not gonna bother. No, we do not want to go into the future, so... There we go. We're able to go into the palace without using a special location to get there. And you see how in the present, this place was very heavily ruinous. And the past is very heavily cavernous. Oh look, there's a project and then Metal Sonic. He's... You know, he looked like he was trying to bully fishes, but it didn't really work out since... You know, the fishes were just swimming around him. You know, I look at this game and... It reminds me, uh, just kind of like, just reminds me how how Sonic is just way cooler than Mario. I mean, I I know I'm, I'm that's biased and being subjective because clearly like I prefer Sonic over Mario. But all I gotta say is, has Mario ever gone on a time traveling adventure where the fate of a world was it was. Uh, in his hands. Now let's be honest. This only the Mushroom Kingdom is really like at stake when he goes on his adventure. There's like some small area, like never really an entire planet where like all where it's you know its entire where its its fate is. Where its fate is in danger from both uh, all throughout time, and then now that I traveled back to the present, I just noticed that the water, the water in the past, the water level is much lower than the present. Oh, but anyways, yeah, I get that Mario saved the galaxy or whatever, but I mean, I know that's that's big too. But to be fair, Sonic has also traveled to a galaxy and saved it, so... I mean, uh... It's funny, cause... See, you would think I'm a, I would be a Sega fanboy. And, without a doubt, I, like, if I would've grown up in the 90s, I have no doubt in my mind I would've owned all the Sega consoles as opposed to the uh, Nintendo consoles and I would've been a huge fan of... I would've played all the Sega IPs. But funny enough, I think I honestly kind of prefer Nintendo over Sega just because they have more games that, that I like. Oh my god, I jumped in the water. Oh my god. Like for example, I, I like Mario. You know, I mean, who doesn't like Mario? 
I prefer Sonic, but Mario games are still fun. Was Super Mario Sunshine made my all-time favorite Mario game. No! Hold on, I need to... I need to focus real quick and get the time, which honestly is not looking too good because I've been I only have 30 seconds and I have not destroyed a single UFO. Wow, I just lost like good time there. Yep, that's the end of this run. But yeah, I like Mario. I never played Legend of Zelda games, but I do want to. They look cool. Metroid seems interesting. I love Pokemon. I don't know if you would consider Pokemon Nintendo since they were made by Game Freak. But to be fair, Game Freak only makes games for Nintendo, so I would count it as a Nintendo property. What else? I like the Donkey Kong games. Is that it? I think that's it, like right off the bat. No, I don't want to go into the future. Whereas Sega, I mean, the only Sega games I've really played are well, all the Sonic games. Uh, what else is there? Yeah, all the Sonic games. Crazy Taxi. I love Daytona USA. That's a fun game. Virtual Cop. That's probably it. Oh my god. Yeah, I think that's it for Sega games. So yeah, I guess I mean yeah, Mar or Sonic over Mario any day, but maybe Nintendo over Sega. Although to be fair, I mean these past few years Nintendo has been making a lot of like choices that are really making them unpopular, like the how they how they basically banned or, or they took down all the uh, like the video. Like the videos of their video game soundtracks from YouTube for copyrighted reasons, which I think is dumb. It's like you can't you can't really enjoy you really can't enjoy the songs. I know that you could still find them, but yeah, I know that was pretty. Uh, that was a really unpopular this choice that uh, or decision that they made that none of the fans liked uh, what else is there um there's also there's there's I remember a while back too they also wanted to shut down all the websites that that allowed you to download uh, emulator ROMs for the Nintendo games and their consoles. Or I guess just for their consoles, because you only find Nintendo games in Nintendo consoles. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? I know a lot of people didn't like that either. I don't know if they, un if they undid that or whatever. But I feel like you can still find Nintendo. Yeah, you can still find Nintendo wrong. Ma maybe the maybe the guy like the websites have to be more discreet about it or whatever. I don't know. I don't really know the details about that. All I know is that yeah, they did that just because I don't know. I guess they just didn't don't like ROMs because they lose if people download ROMs then. Uh, then they don't have to buy their games, and then they lose out on money. 
Oh, I know the whole thing about- Hey, look at that. I know the whole thing about, uh, the Super Mario 3D All-Stars, like, how it's- How they're just gonna stop selling that game. I think at the end of this week? It was on, like, the 31st of March. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, I missed out on that one. All right, oh, well. Which is dumb. I don't know why they made that game limited release. Limited time release, but whatever. I haven't heard they're gonna try to take them out, the physical copies out of stores, at least in Japan, so. If you live in Japan, I guess you're out of luck. Yeah, look at this. Just look at how the good future looks. It's all, you know, futuristic with... You know, no long it no longer being ruins is like a huge, like, uh, it's like a huge ocean base. That's, from the looks of it, uh, helping to maintain the vegetation and stuff, so that's cool. What else is there? Oh, the, I know with their mobile games, they're like, very, uh, like, they're not consumer friendly at all. They're just like riddled with a bunch of like. It's just very aggressive with microtransactions. The game that comes to mind for me is Mario Kart Tour. I played that game, and first of all, I really wasn't a huge fan of the controls. Just. Like, I don't know why they decided to make the controls like that. I know they could have made it to be suit more like. You know, like an actual driving game on a mobile device. But nah, they decided to make it so like... You just drift, or you just... Well, first of all, you can't even turn. The only way you turn is by drifting. Which is dumb, because not all turns require drift. And the fact that... Uh, you have to like unlock characters and... Yeah, you have to unlock characters and carts and all that through loot boxes, which is, you know, annoying. I mean, who the fuck loves loot boxes? You would have thought that we would have been done with this shit after the whole Battlefront 2 controversy, but... I mean, I guess Nintendo is late to the party, like always. I mean, it's just like how they relate to the... They're late to... The whole HD format with the yeah they're late. When the Wii came out, it, it's just so funny how you know it's part of the same generation as uh, the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3, which had HD support, and the Wii didn't have any kind of HD support whatsoever. It still ran in standard format with 480. In 4DI.